So hello comrades and welcome to top 10 most aggressive and dangerous creatures in Subnautica. As always I want to thank you all for the outstanding support on all top 10 videos. Subnautica community is growing rapidly so I can guarantee that there will be people who encounter with this game for the first time in this particular video and I strongly advise not to look at it just because of major story and other spoilers. And without more hesitation, let's start our top 10 most aggressive and dangerous creature list in Subnautica. Our top 10 starts with a crash fish. You may wonder why I added this one of the smallest fish in our list. Well, it will mostly be your first creature whom you will be running away like crazy unless you want to feel underwater explosion and almost half of your health bar gone. You can end up in a situation where your life pod will spawn directly on top of crash fish nest and by life pod I mean the start of your game. If you are not experienced player and have no idea what creatures are looking in the safe shallows, I can tell you that safe shallow biome is not that safe after all. If you fear gargling sound somewhere in the distance, crash fish has already spotted you and take you as a threat to its small baby crash fishes. He is a kamikaze and will not hesitate to use his only attack on you. If you are extremely unlucky, you can run into three crash fishes and die in your first 5 minutes of the game. Of course, this is highly unlikable. Number 10. Crash Fish Number 9. Sand Shark He is extremely aggressive and you will definitely find one in those dune, grassy plateau or crash zone biomes. As the name states, Sand Shark he likes to burrow himself under the sand, that's why this creature is so dangerous. One second you are happy collecting so much needed quartz, the next second you become Michael Phelps and swim 100 meters, beating world record avoiding sand sharks emerging from the soil. One bite, 30% of your health gone. Not so much? Well, don't forget that you can catch a crash fish on your way to your life pod. Number 9. Sand Shark Lava Lizard takes position number 8 One of the deepest living creatures, green lava lizards will terrify you to death. They have two attacks, a bite and spit molten lava which deals 30% of damage. So if you thought that you are safe some distance away from the lava lizard, you are wrong. Do not piss them off as these creatures have an ability to swim through lava and form some sort of a cooled lava shell on their backs making them more damage resistant. It is not permanent as you can still destroy it with your knife or propulsion cannon. It is not as dangerous as other higher standing creatures on the list just because when you will travel to active or inactive lava zone I am pretty sure you will have good understanding how this game works and you will be able to defend yourself. Awesome Molten Lava Spitting Lava Lizard is number 8. Number 7 The Amazing Mesmer uh, this creature is appearing in pretty much every top 10 video. It is cute, small, dangerous and he has some awesome abilities. From the first glance, cute little fish swimming peacefully in crag, kelp forest, kush zone, lost river or mushroom forest biomes. I would pay to see a person's reaction first encountering a mesmer. I remember myself I was amazed by its ability to hypnotize made me swim closer to it by whispering those calm words in my ears and at the last second bite off my nose. It is your primary directive to swim closer to 35% of damage, that is pretty high considering you would not survive a third hit. But of course after the first lesson learned I doubt that you will fall again for the Mesmer's tricks. Number 7. Mesmer Crab Snake takes position number 6. 
Jelly Shroom Biome is where you will find this magnificent beast. As the name states, Crab Snake. It has a long purple body with small skirt wrapped around. Crab Snake does not seem to have eyes, but he will sure as hell can sense you from a distance. Do not ever try to steal their awesome pulsating eggs. Do not try coming near them. Do not try to piss them off. You will be caught and tossed around. Now recently, the crab snake's damage to vehicles such as Seamoth Exosuit was tweaked. Yep, you are no longer safe in these. Amazing crab snakes grabs position number 6. Number 5. Crab Squid From crab snake to crab squid. We are closing to one of the most dangerous creatures in Subnautica and this transparent thing is one of them. As other creatures, this one too has some cool abilities in store. EMP Blast Trying to outrun this dude in a Seamoth? Not a good idea because successful shot from Crab Squid's EMP ability will leave your vehicle immobilized for a few seconds. This will give him time to approach you and attack. 40% of damage will be dealt if he will catch you outside of your vehicle. If you see one charging at you, use tactics. Crab squids are attracted to light, so I suggest having a flare, flashlight or other device to lure it away from you. Number 5. Amazing Crab Squid Amp Eel takes position number 4. Now, I am so disappointed because I cannot use the joke number 4 is shocking because Shocker got his name changed to Amp Eel. But enough about that, this creature you really don't want to get close. If he sees you, he will charge up his electrical arcs on the body and will try to zap you. But again, this is not your biggest problem. If you still manage to withstand his shock attack, Amp Eel could bite you with his huge mouth. And believe me, you will not like that a single bit. Shock attack deals shockingly small amount of damage, only 15. But the second bite attack will lower your health by 45%. Amazing Amp Eel grabs shocking number 4 position in our list. Our top 3 starts with Warper. Now, Warper is a unique creature in Subnautica. At first, it will be passive. It may sound strange, but this creature is actually a cyborg acting as some sort of a police unit in Planet 4546B. When player lands on the planet, it will not be infected by severe disease called Karar. Thus, Warpers will not attack him. After a while, the player will catch the disease, making warpers try to catch you and kill you to contain the disease spread. It is a little bit complicated, but you should know that avoiding these creatures is the best chance of survival. The claw attack of the warper deals 65% of damage, and to make them even more scary and dangerous, they have warp projectile ball inflicts 5% of damage and teleports you near those purple beasts. Number 3. Amazing Cyborg Police Unit Warper Number 2. Comrade Reaper Leviathan one of the most iconic, one of the most oldest and definitely one of the most aggressive and dangerous creatures in whole of Subnautica. You can try to avoid it, but if you come too close, a Reaper Leviathan will surely catch you and bite you dealing 80% of damage. I know that this is not a one-shot, but if he is close enough to damage you once, you have a small chance of living. This creature has unique echolocation ability. If you are swimming in the biomes I have mentioned before and hear loud roar of a Reaper Leviathan, that means that he can hear you too. So if you have a crazy idea to scan him, prepare a lot of medkits, Seamoth, Sea Glide, oxygen tanks and go for it. A Reaper Leviathan takes position number 2. Most aggressive and dangerous creature, Sea Dragon Leviathan. 
Finally, there is a top 10 list where Sea Dragon Leviathan can take first spot. So if you had thought that Reaper Leviathan is already a dangerous creature, then think again because Sea Dragon Leviathan eats Reaper Leviathans for breakfast. And I'm not joking. If you travel to inactive lava zone, you can find a lot of Reaper Leviathan skeletons lying around. It appears that this is a work of a Sea Dragon Leviathans. After some recent updates, Sea Dragon Leviathan was made even more aggressive towards the player. So if you are planning a trip to active or inactive lava zone, good luck. So this is the only creature who can one-shot you with his bite attack. He can also spit meteor at you, 80% of damage. Fire breath, 20% of damage. Friendly slap in the face, 40% of damage. This is by far the most dangerous creature in the game. Sea Dragon Leviathan number one. So comrades, this concludes our top 10 most aggressive and dangerous creatures in Subnautica. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, you are always welcome to like, share it with your friends or consider becoming a comrade by subscribing to this channel for more awesome content. If you'd like to see more videos from me, don't forget to press a bell icon next to a subscribe button just as shown in the video, so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, I will see you all tomorrow in the next video. Bye!